Hello. Grace and peace to you in the love of the Creator, in the joy of the Christ, in the communion of the Holy Spirit. My name is Richard Bott, and I am the moderator of the United Church of Canada. Christmas is different things to different people. Sometimes a secular holiday with time off from work or studies. Sometimes a time to be with family and friends. Sometimes it's a time that's packed to the brim with experiences. Sometimes it's a time of loneliness or a time where emotions are so concentrated that they overwhelm. For those of us who follow Jesus' way, it can be all of that. And on top of that, a time to remember the birth of the central figure of our faith, Jesus. Did you know that there are two stories about Jesus' birth in the Gospels? One in Matthew and one in Luke? Often, when the story gets told at Christmas, we mash everything together. While there are points that are the same in each of the narratives, the authors told the story each in their own way, and each to their own audience. In Matthew, there are echoes of the story of Moses. In Luke, cues for a Gentile audience that this was an epic story. The thing that jumps out for me, though, is that with the birth narratives, both authors seem to be saying right from the beginning, this man is special. Listen to him. I'd invite you to take time to read through both of these narratives. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 to chapter 2, verse 23. And Luke chapter 1, verse 1 to chapter 2, verse 40. Listen to the stories about Jesus. What do they say to you? I thought I'd finish off this time together by sharing with you part of the narrative of the birth of Jesus, according to the book of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. When they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then, an angel of God stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them, and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go into Bethlehem and see this thing that's taken place, which God has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph, and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, 
they made known what had been told them about the child. And everyone who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary? Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Blessed Christmas. <laughs>